Hello, uh, today I like to talk about my frustration. Today I went out and uh, took a series of this pictured grasses. And this particular one I just found today and tried to identify this, but no way I can do that. And this is, I think, uh, western wheat grass. It's a bluish tint. And this is buffalo grass. 100% sure this is a buffalo grass. And uh, over there is a western wheat grass. It's very, very distinct blue green color patch. And then here I see this kind of a, a very familiar grass, the ornamental grass, uh, I think uh, fescue, blue fescue grass growing here, wild. Very interesting. And then I found this. Uh, I have no idea what it is. And then over there, beyond, there's a, a cheat grass, downy brom, all over. Uh, there's a lot of diversity here in a small area. And also the same area here, I see the crested wheatgrass. This is, I'm 100% sure. Uh, because it's distinct flower head and uh, shapes. So this is rather easy to identify, but some other grasses, uh, it's almost like impossible to identify because they are so similar and they are so look alike. And so, you know, this is a kind of a, uh, you know, tufted hair grass, but I'm not sure this is maybe 10% confidence I do. But some of them are so elusive. And uh, yeah, a very frustration uh, in my mind is kind of a killing me. This is also uh, killing me because this I couldn't identify this. This is like a very long ounce uh, come out in a pin and needle maybe or three ounce. I have no idea. And this I have no idea what they are. Uh, very windy day today. <laughs> Trying to escape. And this uh, also recently I found it but of course, I couldn't identify this. You know, salt grass, maybe, I have no idea. And this, I... So frustrating. To see so many different grasses that look alike. Oh, this is, I'm 100% sure, the buffalo grass. It's a male flower. The uh, anthers uh, have a red, orange-red color. Uh, so it's kind of pretty to look at. But it, this is very small statues. And as you see, uh, I think I can show you some female flower somewhere. This is all male flower. This is male, but as you're patient, I think I could find... Oh, yeah, here, here it is. This is the female part. Uh, the different, uh, this is dioecious, therefore they're different plants, individual plant. A female plants and a, a male plant. This is a female plant growing there. And usually in the agriculture, uh, by the lawn uh, purposes, Buffalo grass, I think females are preferred because it's not conspicuous with this seed head popping out like this. But nonetheless, I, I kind of fell in love with buffalo grass. It's very dainty and beautiful and they uh, form the mat. So this is 
uh, I cannot identify. This is, I think, the common ryegrass, and uh, I think I'm pretty much like 80% of time, 80% uh, of confidence, I think. Uh, yeah, so this is like a crump, and uh, it's very uh, uh, distinct, uh, very handsome, I would say, a statue. Okay, so this is probably smooth brome, and it's oh smooth brome here, and this again, uh, I couldn't, I can't identify this. Uh, I wish I could. This, I you know, no, I can't identify this either. Small statue. Very pretty, I would say. This also, I don't know what it is. Uh, looks like a smooth brom, but yeah, uh, I have no idea. Uh, this, I think, is a three ounce or pin and needle. Yeah, I cannot tell what it is. Uh, this, I cannot tell what it is. This is a distinct. Uh, like a flower head coming out uh, rather uh, tall, uh, or I would say like a, a two feet maybe. And this is, I know, uh, which is the blue color, but then again, there is no flower head. And this is the, the wheat grass, western wheat grass, I'm, I'm sure of it. Very, very distinct blue color. And this, I don't know. This is, looks like the same color of the western uh, wheat grass, but much, much shorter, and there's no flowers coming up. And I have no idea what they are. I wish I would know. I wish I could know. Oh, 